Hey YouTube, how's it going? It's Quinton here and welcome to tutorial number 18. And in this tutorial I am going to talk to you guys about two HTML elements that uh, are made to be used specifically with CSS, okay? And these tags are the div and span tags. Now, unlike any other HTML elements that you may have worked with before, these two tags don't actually change the content in any way at all. Uh, so if I were to make use of a div element real quick, I go ahead and I open up my div tag over here and I'll go close it down here. And uh, you'll see any content that I put inside this div tag won't actually change unless I use CSS uh, to change this tag for me. Okay, so let's go ahead and just put in a heading 2 and ending heading 2. And in the heading we can go ahead and say uh, apples are good. And then I'll go to the new line and make a paragraph. And in this paragraph we'll just say an apple a day keeps the doctor away. And if you didn't see that coming then... Wow, okay. Cool, so now we've got uh, just a normal header and a normal paragraph. And if I go ahead and run this in Firefox, you can see that it displays as a normal heading to and a normal paragraph. So um, having these two tags inside of a div tag didn't change the way that they display at all. Okay. And again, if I go ahead and I give you the same example with a span tag, you'll see that the span tag isn't going to change uh, the word at all either. So I'm going to go ahead and just surround this word apple uh, with span tags. And if I go back now and refresh, again, we don't have any change whatsoever to the word apple. Okay, so like I said, these tags by themselves do absolutely nothing. But with CSS, we can go ahead and actually um, change those tags to make our website look pretty or just uh, change the display of uh, something on our website. So let's go ahead and style our div tag. And we can go ahead and give that a border of one pixel solid and red. And I want to give this a background color as well. So a background color of yellow. And I'm going to give this a width of 250 pixels, just so that we can see the actual block a little bit better. And then I'm going to go ahead and uh, give this style my span tag now, sorry. And I'll set that equal to a color of uh, maybe green. So the text will be green and then we'll go ahead and use text decoration which uh, is a property if you want to underline your text you can go ahead and use text decoration so underline and that should make our word appear underlined okay uh, now before we go back to Firefox and click refresh I just want to mention to you guys or explain to you guys why I wrote my tags out like this, like why div is like a block and then uh, the span tag I left as an inline um, thing. So I went ahead and I just wrote span and ending span in the same line. Uh, and the reason for that is because a div tag is actually a block element. So I like to write my tags the same way that they would display in the browser and a, block, uh, a div tag is a block level element. So that means that if I were to make another div tag on my page, then we'd basically have two blocks and these blocks would obviously uh, contain whatever content is inside of the block. Okay, so basically a div is a big block that we can put on our page, whereas a span tag is actually an inline element. So that means that this tag isn't going to break down to a new line. It's not going to display as a block or anything like that. 
it's just going to change the content uh, inside of the two tags um, or in, yeah, in between the tags but it's not going to actually do anything else whereas if I were to put the div tag maybe around the word day then day would be in its own block so we'd actually land up having an apple a uh, then we'd start our new block which means that this word day would be on a new line and then uh, we'd go the block would end after day and then uh, we'd create uh, we'd have another line a new line that says keeps the doctor away so uh, go ahead and just experiment with it yourself if you guys don't know what I'm saying but basically a div tag is a block level element so it's gonna break to a new line whereas a span tag is an inline element so it's not going to break to a new line okay uh, so let's go back here now and click refresh and we'll get our styling appear okay or appearing okay so now we've got our block over here and as you can see uh, we've got a border of one pixel red and we've got a background color that's yellow uh, so that that's our div tag uh, done also the width is uh, 250 which is actually quite convenient because it fits the content very nicely and then we've gone ahead and we've uh, in our span tag just turned all the text green and underlined any text in our span tag uh, so that's basically how you use your div and span tags uh, like you'll use your div to make a big block on the page and a span tag just to change some words in a sentence okay and that's actually all I wanted to show you guys in this tutorial so don't forget to subscribe please feel free to leave a comment like or share the video it's really gonna help my channel grow and I will see you guys next time.